which of the following statements about inclusion bodies is incorrect? Inclusion bodies or cytoplasmic inclusions, they are present in the cytoplasm. Yes, in the bacteria we have studied this, that these inclusion bodies, they are involved in the storage of organic as well as inorganic compounds and they are membraneless because you know this very well that in the bacteria membrane bound organelles they are absent. So, if you look at the options starting from the bottom, they are not bound by any membrane that is perfect. These represent reserve food material in cytoplasm, yes they can have glycogen then you call them as glycogen granules. They lie free in the cytoplasm that is perfect, they are involved in ingestion of food material. So, this is incorrect option, yes. So, they are not involved in ingestion of food material, such type of role they do not play. Coming to the next one 52. The transverse section of a plant shows following anatomical features. Yes, large number of scattered vascular bundles surrounded by bundle sheath. Yes, if we talk about dicot stem, there you have vascular bundles arranged in the form of ring and here they are scattered. So, surely it has to be monocot stem. Let us see other options. Large conspicuous parenchymatous ground tissue. Yes, here ground tissue is undifferentiated. There is no path, no endodermis, no pericycle. Vascular bundles are conjoint and close. Yes, in monocots you do not have cambium, closed vascular bundle, and very important, they do not have phloem parenchyma also. So, all these features they are associated with monocot stem. So, this is our answer here. In relation to gross primary productivity and net primary productivity of an ecosystem, which one of the following statement is correct? Very easy question actually. Yes, gross primary productivity is equivalent to net primary productivity plus respiratory loss. So, this is the equation, it means GPP is more than NPP. So, gross primary productivity is always more than net primary productivity. This is our answer, okay. Let us move on to question number 54 now.